one. Hi everyone, I am McDysis, and it's around the holiday season. I say I learned a game called House. Uh, this game's really cool, it's kind of like a horror Groundhog Day, and it's kind of weird because this game's a fun speedrun, but at the same time there's a lot of waiting. Either way, I enjoy it, and don't worry about the times over there, I had to lab out a lot of things. But I'm going to be doing all endings, because you get all the endings in this game. That's the true way of beating it. I don't know why the speedrun leaderboard is the way it is. They kind of segment all the endings. However, this way, we're going to be getting like the true ending, the bonus ending, and then the DLC ending. We're getting all of it, which requires you to play the game a lot. And I think it's really cool. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of the same stuff. I'll kind of explain why. There's going to be a lot of moments where just chilling. We'll get into that. Anyway, I'm starting from a fresh file. Weirdly enough, you can make a fresh file from just deleting your game. Like, there's a clear save data. I think a lot of the runs on the leaderboard use New Game Plus, I won't be doing that. This is off a fresh file, so. Anyway, let's uh, go. Time starts when we get in the shoes. Three, two, one, go. Hooray. So, uh, weirdly enough, this game is kind of strange. Uh, you have to use arrow keys to move because all your actions are the AS and, uh, you know, AS and all that. Uh, first things first, uh, we're doing the best ending, so this, uh, right off the bat, it's going to be the best result possible. We're going to have to move fast. Uh, I grab the bowling ball to wake up the cat. I don't want him to die, I want him just to be woken up. You grab the milk and you pour it anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter you pour it, you just need to pour it. Uh, to which then we're going to be getting this key. I'm going with one of the hardest ones first, because this one has everything you have to do. So, keep in mind, we'll be talking mile a minute. I'm going to be grabbing the hat, and then I'm going to wait here for a second while grabbing the axe. Uh, in later endings, you'll be seeing me kill this rat. However, right now, since you're doing the family ending first, I need to make sure the cat is nice and safe. Uh, I do want to mention as well that the game will kind of get harder as you play it. The game kind of expects that you're going to mess up a few times. We're not going to do that. We're going to be playing immaculately. So, after uh, dropping the hat under the water so the mom will trip, we're going to be going into this room. Uh, this room, make sure you have the bowling ball, we're grabbing the gun, and we're gonna be, uh, dropping the bowling ball right down here. Uh, this will take us to a secret room where we get the slingshot. Uh, this is gonna be very important for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's funny because this one also doesn't really have a boss fight, but it kinda does. Uh, as well, we have a few things we have to do here. I want the bear trap, but I don't want to step in it. I don't want my sister to step in it either. Uh, as well, we're gonna grab that. And we're going to be doing a few things. Now, everything I'm doing is going to be say different family members. Uh, breaking the piano is going to prevent the sister from dying when she uses the piano. Uh, putting the hat right here is going to prevent the mom from dying from a water puddle. You just need to make sure you get enough to get the water out. And make sure you do all this before the sister goes in this room. Um, the piano must be destroyed by the time she gets in here because then she'll cry. You need her crying. It's very important you make your sister cry. Don't do that in real life. You'll get in trouble. I guarantee it. Especially during the holidays. You are tumultuousness. You are. All right, so something to be aware of. Uh, as you play the game, uh, if you go further and further, this carpet comes lethal. Drop a bowling ball on it. It'll prevent it from uh, killing you. Now, we're going to be uh, breaking the toilet. You have to break the toilet for prevent the from dying from the toilet. So then try to kill herself because the toilet's broken. You have to break the chair and prevent her from killing herself too. So now they have the sandwich, we can go. The sister's gonna be fine. She'll be crying in bed. That's what we want. The sister's considered safe. Uh, the cat is also considered safe. However, I still want to do more. Uh, for one, there's the sandwich. We need the sandwich. Why do we need the sandwich? The sandwich is needed to save the rat. He's part of the family. So you give him sandwich, and then we can take this up here. Uh, it's good to know this box is able to be shot with the slingshot, which will then give you ammo. Uh, the cat in this room will just be chilling. If you break this glass, you'll get the other bullet. All right, so now I've kind of done everything for the most part. Uh, there's an IGT behind me. Um, so I might be mentioning certain times. That is what I'm referring to. At this point, for the family ending, you've done everything you need. You need to make sure you don't die, though. So what's going to happen is around 9 p.m. IGT, uh, whenever it turns dark, mom's going to pass out from drinking. You know, like a standard Saturday night. It's Saturday night for me. So, <laughs> Anyway, we're on 9 p.m. IGT. Also, it's always on the same rail, so you expect a lot of these events to become familiar. Well, what's going to happen is she's going to pass out. You want to make sure you have the axe, and you're going to chop a hand. And then you're going to have three hours IGT. It's about a minute or two where you're going to have to avoid the steaming. Uh, now, the best way of doing that is... Uh, one, you do run faster for a good amount, so you're going to build some speed. As well, you can lay down a trap if you really want to. That will also buy you some time. Now, the best strat I can recommend is, one, you can juke her a little bit, like so, where you just sort of go down, and then you start running. Uh, that is a very good strategy. As well, the shadow demons come up, that is bad. So we're going to do this in this room, we're going to do a big run around the piano. Can she not pass? Oh, she can. 
Uh, we're gonna do this, and let's zoom. You can actually do cool crabs. So it works. No matter what way you're doing it, you are fine. Nope, not for this one. For family, you don't want to actually give her the doll. I believe you can also shoot her. Now, another fun strat you can do, you have to be very careful, is you can be here the moment she enters the room, leave. You can only do that one way. So you can kind of cheese her this way. I know we should be good in a moment. All right, and then the moment midnight hits. <laughs> that is some bullshit. Wait, did I win? That's never happened before. Okay, I got a fun glitch. Uh, don't do it that early. It worked. It worked in our favor. Um, at midnight, her head will explode. Don't try to chance it, though. But yes, that counts as a win. <laughs> Uh, that does count as a win, funny enough. So we win. Her head explodes. I think that might actually be faster, funny enough, which is the funniest part. Yeah, I golded, barely. That's okay, that's kind of funny. Anyway, we count that. We count that. That's funny. Okay, so we've done the best ending first. You just kind of avoid her to midnight, as you saw. Uh, if you ever want to check, push space on the left side underneath me, the time to be there. I'm sorry, I apologize earlier for blocking it. I was going to put my stuff here. Um, but it's all good. Anyway, up next is going to be Patrick's side. Uh, Patricide is kind of the game's normal ending, so to speak. So, uh, every time you beat an ending, you'll get a journal entry. Now, you'll see the clock is kind of stained with blood. We want four of those, so you have to get all the endings so you get the true ending, which is why this is kind of a cool thing. Um, you can kind of play differently. I'm not going to be killing the cat unless I could avoid it. The reason why is because if I do, then Twitch chat here gets mad at me. Also, I don't want to kill a cat. I like cats. At some point, I want to adopt a cat, and his name will be Bingles, and I'll love him. Now, in order to kill the rat, you're gonna wait till it gets close. You kinda wanna see the mouth open and just time the axe to swing around then. Uh, killing the rat, is, oh wait, you know I say I killed the rat. Killing the rat's gonna be ideal because then you don't have to worry about the room later. As well, you wanna kill the mom early. Uh, you don't need her, and in doing so, we'll make it so you have to chop less things. Now, in the grand scheme of things, for especially this ending, it doesn't really matter for speed, but it's good just kinda getting the nature of knowing what times you're at. As a message issue, you have two cats. That's very nice. I do enjoy cats. Now, like I said, we are saving the cats since we don't have much else to do at this moment in time. Um, it's kind of funny because while there is a lot of saving time in this run, there's also a lot of not saving time in this run. So what we're going to be doing is, uh, one, I'm going to gain the bear trap. Now, the most important part is make sure that if you get this bear trap, the sister does not walk into it. Be very careful with your timing. She can walk into it. If she does, that's bad. Uh, make sure you collect all the bullets. You're going to need them. They're very important for this run. Uh, the main difference between this one and the next one, by the way, is going to be that we're not killing all the family members. Uh, we, we're going to let some of them die to natural causes. So, in fact, uh, the sister will just die naturally, and then we'll be there to save the cat. You may have noticed the thing with the water is going to be the same deal here. Uh, but before the sister dies, I'm actually going to be doing something for both this one and another ending later. Whenever you have a boss fight to do and they spawn in like this, you want the bear trap to be right around the door. Um, we're going to make it so he walks into it, but you just want to make sure that the moment he spawns, he walks into that and then it will do a take of damage. Uh, this is going to be our first major boss fight, which yes, it is actually a boss fight. Anyway, let's listen to this beautiful song, shall we? And we'll even accompany it with dropping the bowling ball. Beautiful. Hey, girls. Aww. Oh no, she died. I can't believe it. If only we helped. I already have the water. Anyway, the cat's gonna chill in here, and I'm just gonna... Okay. Alright, we saved the cat. So, right now it's about 5.40pm. Uh, I've gotten the ammo from there. I put down the bear trap. And I have uh, gotten the ammo in here. You're gonna need all these. Now, somebody keep in mind, as you wait, the game will try to kill you. Uh, luckily, in the early game, like, what I mean by early game is before you get the true ending, the game's a bit easier. Um, the main thing trying to kill you is gonna be shadow demons. Yes, OG had the rat. Uh, if you ever see a, a shadow in a room, you just kinda wanna go to another room for a bit. Always avoid the shadows. And it'll kind of spawn randomly as it go. Uh, the game's gonna get darker and darker. Now, an important thing to note, I want to mention this as well, this room's gonna have a moving carpet. Uh, if you step on that carpet, it will kill you. The way to uh, counter that is by dropping a bowling ball on it early. Uh, as well, you can kind of see the shadows in there. We're gonna show these rats. And we have about uh, two more hours IGT. 
No, the strat for the dad fight is very easy. Also, it's the grandma. If you drop the bowling ball enough times, that'll happen. Uh, first thing, though, you want to make sure you drop all your extra items. You want to make sure you're swapping between gun... Oh, actually, no. You just want to make sure you just have items. Uh, we did. She just spawns at five. She just spawns in, Master Yoshi. It's creepy, ain't it? So, around 11 p.m., you want to start gearing up to get ready. Uh, I'm going to be standing right over here. Uh, the reason why is because when the dad spawns in, he'll just walk into the trap. And that is going to be ideal for me. Uh, it's about 11.45. Okay, we're, we're about good. And then once he spawns in, I'm going to run in the bottom left, and then we're going to kill him. Three hits just takes him down. And you want to make sure you do not fire fast. It's kind of funny because you think speed running is going to be quick, right? I mean, mash A, he's going to walk into the trap. We're going to run bottom left. we right there. We're going to shoot him. We're going to wait for him to move again. We're going to shoot him again. Anyway, that is the dad fight. Very nice and simple. It worked out quite well. I'm pretty sure I messed up my split earlier, by the way, because there's no reason it should have gone slower, because it's literally doing nothing. So it's all good. Hey, don't worry about my split being positive or negative there. A lot of these are going to be minor time losses. My early game was good. It is Parker, dude. Oh, so every time you do an ending, you're going to be getting the doll telling you, Oh, you can't save your family, oh. This is to kind of gear you up to keep playing the game to see what happens and experiment. Because uh, you're trying to break out of the cycle. I think Groundhog Day. It's that type of deal. Anyway, next day, we're going to be doing the ending called Good Girl. Uh, the idea this time is to be a monster. I will tell you right now, Twitch chat, you'll be posting Sad Cat in a moment here. Because you know we're going to have to do it to him. So Good Girl requires you to be, uh, you know, uh, devilish. You're going to kill everyone. So drop a bowling ball on the cat. As the first step. You must kill everyone. They don't need the hat funny enough. Remember, the rat's a family member. He has to die. Oh, he got me. <laughs> okay, the rat's cracked. It's okay to mess up. You do lose time for messing up, though. Keep that in mind. The rat always gets me whenever I'm not trying to get him. Rat took revenge for the cat. That's all good. Anyway, chat, I wouldn't be cheering if I were you, because now we have to kill the cat again. <laughs> anyway, get ready to post sad cat again, because uh, that was an accident. Don't worry, I'm, le I'm letting it so next time someone grinds world record, they can get world record. Anyway, sad cat, he's dead again. Alright, we got him. This time the rat is dead. Now everyone else will also be dying, keep that in mind, we have to kill everyone. We're gonna wait for the mom to hit one one of the planks. All right, let me kill her. And then last and certainly not least, the sister. Death. Wait, what? Get out of bed. There, proud of you. Okay, and then uh, a weird one, a weird one. After killing the sister, you actually have to kill the doll. Uh, your doll is a sentient life form, believe it or not. Uh, if you wanna know if you did it right, talk to the toilet. I think it's after 1 p.m. you have to talk to the toilet. Also, look, the cat's dead. Oh no, cat's dead. Uh, we're gonna get the gun, just in case, and I wanna make sure I get the slingshot. It's good to have. And also, I wanted to hate the guy's hand. It's a good habit to form. Also, well, actually, I need that. Okay, so you can talk to her, and uh, she'll tell you a potential. If she says you're fulfilled, you've gotten everyone. Your duty is fulfilled. Okay, at this point, you've done everything. You just need to wait. Tell you don't need to talk to her, but I like talking with her. Yeah, I also did a video called uh, uh, Time Skip on YouTube. It's a pretty good one. Oh, uh, okay. So, the gimmick of this chapter is, since you killed their family members, they're going to try to get revenge. Uh, you need to survive not only away from the ghost, but from family members. Uh, this is also why I'm kind of making sure I get all the stuff, because I want to make sure that I'm not going to be in bad shape. Uh, if I remember correctly, the three things that can kill you are the mom, the sister, and the cat. Uh, the cat is definitely the best of the three. Uh, the cat just sort of, uh, stands in a room and you can avoid him. Uh, the sister does go pretty fast, so you have to be careful. Alright, now I just sort of wait. See, look, there's the cat. And if you go towards the center, the sister will always spawn. Can't take revenge? Yes. 
He has to make sure you be very careful. You have to kill six hours IGT. I'll be losing time on this split because I died, but I wanted to show you what happens. Clearly, that's the plan. Do keep in mind the standard rules, but like I mentioned, you can technically drop a bowling ball on it, and they see you can do that. Uh, another thing I want to mention, since right now we're kind of just having good uh, downtime, um, this game, if you sprint left and right, you go pretty fast. If you sprint up and down, you don't go so fast. So you may notice sometimes I'm going diagonal for going up and down. Yeah, diagonal ups and downs are way better, and it's kind of weird. That was a Rambo, Rachel. Don't worry, the cat won't die in any other endings. So since we're being a monster, you can kill the rats too. Uh, if you have a shadow, best way of juking is always going to be that sideways juke like that. You want to get used to that. Also, if you have the duck, you can do this. Any light source. I don't know why it works. It just sort of does. This has no actual value for a speedrun, but you know what? It's funny. And right now it's 10 p.m. We have maybe about two more IGT hours. See? Okay, we're about time. Uh, we're about uh, close to midnight. So we're going to stand roughly about here while waiting for the dad. Um, our character's automatically going to go here, and then the dad's going to reward us if we did it properly. And that is how you are a good girl. See, you've been a very good girl. And then she'll just kind of stand in place. And then you get hug. You see, we are good, chat. We are good. I still can't believe I died to the rat. I never died to the rat. Can you imagine I get everything else first try? As well, every time I'm splitting, I'm doing it on the end. Uh, if you're ever wondering why are some runs having this be so fast, my understanding is that if you be in the category, if you beat it once, you should be able to spam. Uh, mainly because uh, I have no idea how the whole runners been doing outside of anything about New Game Plus. I am Chiris Stella, and hope you're doing good today. Alrighty, so now we have a neat ending. So this one's called The Song, and this is probably the easiest one to get throughout the game. Uh, and this one, uh, think of the family ending, except this time, instead of being half and uh, half as uh, in-depth, what we're going to be doing instead is we are going to be... What's the word? We're going to be saving only the sister. We're only going to be saving Melody. However, we will be saving the cat. But shall not be sad if we save the cat. Uh, in terms of order, you don't actually have to pick an order. You can do whatever you want. Personally, I recommend family first, because family is the hardest. But if you're struggling with a certain ending, it might be worth it to do that instead. Yes, we saved the cat this time. He will live. Remember, for saving the sister, you are going to need the bowling ball. Also, if you are having trouble with the rats, you are perfectly allowed to juke them each time. You don't have to kill them every time. Except for, except for the good girl ending, you don't have to kill them each time. We like cats here. Anyway, the mom will still die. We don't need her. That's pretty base, Bucky Senpai. Pretty base, if you ask me. Oddly enough, the gun's not as important in the uh, in anything after uh, the one in... Uh, there's a few. I think one, five, and six. So the end needs the gun. Uh, the next area needs the gun. And you definitely need the slingshot, though. So, now we have the water in the slingshot. You definitely don't need the water, I assume, for the cat, but you need to make sure you shoot this down. This is very important. Uh, shooting that down will allow us to save the sister one once again. Kind of remember, remember that from earlier. No choo-choo. We'll be doing choo-choo Charles after this. We'll be doing it after this section. We're doing a little bit of a long stream today because I kind of missed a little bit of stream. Also, I'm going to be a good lad. I will be saving the cat. You don't have to do this. I want to do this. So, once again, the sister will be crying. Her sister, the three things of saving her are toilet, or the piano first, then the toilet, and then her room. Remember, you must destroy the toilet. You're gonna be like anyone eating at the heart attack grill. You must destroy the toilet. After destroying the toilet, break her chair. That prevents her from hanging herself once again. No music, no piss, no chairs. What do you do when that happens? You just sort of lie in bed. Look, every time she just 
Nope. She doesn't feel very fulfilled. And then she would want to hang herself, however the chair is broken, so... She cries. Now, this time, instead of just abandoning her, we're gonna take the stall. We've never interacted with the stall instead of killing her once, so we're gonna take the doll. And we are actually going to give her to Melody. Okay. At this point, uh, all you have to do is not die, so be very careful. Once again, dropping the bowling ball is smart, otherwise it will kill you. And, uh, yeah, you're just gonna wait for a while. Another thing to note- oh, god, uh, hold on, get rid of that guy. Uh, in the piano room, a certain enemy will spawn, I think it's after you've died a certain amount of times, which I'm kind of wondering if eating a death abuse would be worth it, but the snail might be useful from what we can tell. Um, I don't know when the snail spawns, I want to say it's after a certain amount of deaths, because we haven't had it yet, but it might actually be worth it to, uh, channel a bunch of deaths at uh, some parts of the game, uh, because that's gonna allow us to utilize the snail. The game actually, you know, kind of makes fun of you if you use it, but you can. That's Taco Bell? It could be Taco Bell. As well, uh, there's gonna be a character right here. I want you to make note that character's gonna be used later, but she does exist. And she'll be a necessary character in a little bit. Uh, anyway, it's about 10 p.m. We just have to wait a couple in-game hours, and this will be pretty fast. Uh, this ending, I don't think we're gonna lose too much time on. Oh, there's the shot. The dude's bold and brash. I can't believe it. He's coming right at me. Morning, Nerdy Destroyer. We're doing good. Member chat. Save the cat. He's a good lad. By the way, I'll be doing the special uh, ending to actually save the cat as well, because the special ending can have you save the cat in addition, because there's a DLC ending we end on, because that's how you do this. All right, so once Melody walks in this room and play, starts playing her flute, you're good to go. All right. If you hit this point, you're good to go. You'll always walk in the same spot, and then you'll have a breakdown. If this happens, you know you've done it right. That's speedrunning. You've cured the house. That's four of the endings. Now is where the game starts to kind of break away from the speedrunning mode a little bit. In fact, I'd argue this is one of the only true speedrunning categories coming up. Cool, I golded. Alright, the end. Uh, the end is a category thing to follow, by the way. The end is going to be a category that's kind of like, oh, you have no way to get out. You kind of have to figure out what's happening. Uh, at this point, um, you know, the clock has had four of its faces. Uh, changed, so we're gonna be doing a lot here. Uh, this is actually gonna be more speed based, so if I get the snail, that's good. I don't know if he spawns in yet, though. I don't think he does. He might. We'll see. However, I think YouTube commentators would give me more props if I didn't use the snail. Go watch it on YouTube. I don't know. Give me props for not using the snail. Anyway, before we do anything, we're gonna have to play very, very, very tactfully. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is more of the same. Uh, I'll be a kind dude. I will not kill the cat, because I feel bad if I do that. In theory, I'm losing time, but otherwise Twitch chat will yell at me. As well, I've already died once, so it's not exactly I'm chomping for world record. It's okay. However, the rat must die. Oh! <laughs> he got me. He got me. He got me. The rat won. Rat wins. Well, it's a new game I've been learning. Hey, you know what? This is a motivator. If you're watching this, as the speedrun's explained, beat my time. Rats is better than Cursed House. I like how the rat's just there, by the way. Oh, it's actually gone. Well, the funniest part is the rat's gonna die to a fire anyway. The cat's gonna die to the fire anyway. I'm, I'm ignoring him, technically. Okay. Actually, why am I even fighting the rat? I don't think I need to. Wait, why am I fighting him? I don't have to. Wait. Yeah, I don't need to fight this guy. I'm gonna ignore him. I don't know why I'm fighting him. There's no point. I will kill you, though. Alrighty, so... I'm getting the slingshot. You actually do need the slingshot. So, for this section, you need the gun, the slingshots, and the axe. I recommend having every weapon you can as an amount of a box. Generally, you can get away with just these. However, I recommend getting bullets. Uh, it's going to be a lot smarter for us. And the bear trap. All these can come in handy if you need to be careful. Better to be safe than sorry. 
Uh, you only need one bullet realistically. A uh, second one will come in handy, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, do make sure you have a dummy item like the bear trap, though. Anyway, now that we have everything, chats, uh, we're going to play this nice. We're going to hit the clock the axe. Uh, that brings us to true ending. So, first things first, get out your slingshot, go into this room. Uh, two eyes to spawn in. Shoot at the closed eye. All right, phase one done. Uh, next phase, uh, we're going to be going here. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be laying down that, and then once she eats it, I'll be dropping the bowling ball on her teeth. I've now shattered her teeth. That's really good for us. Uh, up next, I'll be getting the gun. I'll actually be using the gun on this one up here, because I don't want this one to bug me later. You can actually use them on both. That's why it's kind of nice. All right, now for this room on the bottom right, every time a finger pops out, you're going to axe it. That's it. It's kind of monstrous, isn't it? All right, and that is almost good. And then once the heart is out, you may merely hit the heart. If you have the gun, this would be easier. But I, I kind of used my bullets already. There we go. Three hits of the axe will do, one hit with the gun. I recommend using the gun if you can. But that is how the end works. Uh, it's much easier when you know what you're doing. And uh, it's just the three rooms. It's just why you wanted everything. Uh, now, at this point, you're actually going to be going up right. And how's it hexagon? This is why I said this, this area is kind of like not exactly like on the time constraint. You can do it faster if you know what you're doing. Uh, which is also why we're going upright immediately. Like the death animations, they're cool, right? There we go. So you're gonna talk to this guy and walk into him. This is the puppet master. And then once he grabs you, you're good. Also, you get a really cool cutscene where she's gonna get her arm torn off. It is cool. Oh no, her arms are torn off, but don't worry. Chop. It's badass, right? Just chop. Anyway, that is the canon ending of chapter one. However, this game has additional content. If you're just doing the main game, it would be all these. Which, funny enough, I'd be PBing even with the death because I really messed up on the end. There we go. Arms into Play Doh? It's cool, isn't it? Alrighty, now comes the time where I get to save an hour because I did this really badly in my PB because it took me forever to lab it and this part really sucks. So once you beat the game once, there's uh, two more endings you can get. One's a DLC ending and one is like the hidden boss, uh, the super secret bonus hidden boss, right? So. One. Two. I finish the dialogue, we'll hit the end. There we go. I'm currently two minutes ahead. This is very good. However, the game is not over yet. We still have more to do. We're going to wake up again. Now, this time, I hope to God we have the snail. If we don't, it's going to get rough. Uh, we get the title screen again, and the game's like, oh, you're all done. Uh, we're going to be doing the frog ending first, because the frog ending is tough. No, it's going to be the final hour of the video. Okay, you're going to be moving immediately. No dilly-dallying. Run immediately. After this, check three rooms. If you don't see a frog, that's good. Don't worry about it. Okay, you're going to manage your standard properly, and you are going to be getting things as soon as possible. There's a frog. Whenever you see a frog, you want to make sure that you're killing it. You can either do this with a bowling ball or an axe. Uh, let's just get here really quick. Wait, get that back. You need either or. You'll see. You'll see. Chapter 1 is considered the main thing, and then there's a DLC ending. Uh, I'm still going to be saving the cat, uh, this time for a different reason. Uh, I need to survive the whole night, and the game gets really, really, really mean if you let any of your, uh, teammate, uh, anyone die, right? So, I will be killing the rat, however. Uh, the rat's still annoying, we don't want to deal with him. And... I want to make sure I'm very, very, very careful. Uh, if the mom dies, she turns into the mommy, the, uh, the mom zombie. Uh, she'll hunt you down. Um... I think the hanged girl is still a factor. Uh, there we go. Alright, there's the frog. Now, something to keep in mind. Uh, as you play the game, once you open the basement, a frog... Hey, there we go. A frog can spawn down here. You needed to kill eight frogs. I kind of lost count of how many I've killed already. 
do make sure you grab the gun. You absolutely need the gun this time. And the bear trap. Did I have the bear trap? I don't think I have the bear trap. Don't worry if frogs are spawning on top of things. That is intended. There's a frog down there, though. There's the bear trap. And hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hello. -y. Thank you very much for the Prime Gaming three months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. I'm glad you love them. It's very much appreciated. All right, we continue to kill the frogs. Now, something to keep in mind, time-wise, at 5 p.m., you will be getting... You will absolutely be getting a new enemy, a seamstress. Uh, I think this is faster to do if you obviously don't lose everything, but you might. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, no frog. All right, she's fine. Sister's probably gonna die in a moment, by the way, if I'm not careful. But I gotta keep that in mind. Alright, 446. Hope I don't get spawned on. Nothing there. That's fine. Sister's dead. That's okay. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, there it is. Oh my god. Anyway, remember what I said about this one being more rough? I probably could have dropped a bear trap and tried, but yeah, if you get unlucky, this one just sort of sucks. Uh, having the snail makes it easier, which is kind of why I've debated on just vladding in the snail. So, you will see. It's not the final hour, but I definitely got unlucky. Anyway, do the rooms again. No frog. No frog, okay, we're good. Four frogs so far, it doesn't matter. Frog count reset. You have to kill the frogs in one go. Eight frogs in one go. Currently, we have no frogs in here. All right, I got really unlucky. I didn't get a single frog this time. That is fine. Also, I want to make sure to save the cat because I don't want the zombie cat getting me or anything else. Also, let's see. Is there snail? No snail. I wonder how many deaths it takes for you to get the snail, I wonder. Oh, hey, frog. Okay. I pushed the wrong button. That was my bad. I pushed A. I, I kind of pay, I kind of psyched myself out. That's fine. Don't you worry, though. The frog will come in action. Although I do have to wonder that if eating the early death would be worth it. Like, how many does it take? Right now I've died, what, three additional times? Three unintended times. Okay. All right, no frogs. No frogs. Good. Yes, the rat bunch is really getting me. Hey, the rat's a mean dude, what can I say? You know, there's a reason why the rat's been dying, Chad. Maybe he deserves it, you ever think about that? I think I have. Correct, it's RNG manipulation. that's what it is. I'm doing RNG manipulation. But actually, I actually might be. Less than you think. It might be worth it to see how many deaths you can eat before having to do anything else. All right, got him. Rat's dead. By the way, if none of them have a spawn, the answer is probably your room or the bathroom. I don't know why, for some reason, the game won't spawn in the frogs immediately sometimes. It's really weird. If that happens, you can just sort of, uh, you know, use the bowling ball. Nothing there. Yep, I don't know why. Sometimes the bathroom sacks that way. Also, bonk. Nothing there. Hey, all right, two. Usually they won't spawn in the same place, by the way, so keep that in mind. Game robbing us of frogs? It is. Okay, I'm wondering when, the, when does the snail spawn in? After how many deaths, I wonder. All right, I have to remember you can spawn down here. Same deal. Also, you'll mostly be hunting the rooms and managing your time. The main thing is around 5 p.m. You have to be very careful. All right, there she is. Honestly, if she dies, it's not the end of the world, but let's see if I can save her. Maybe I can't. Nope, she's dead. We'll let her die. It's fine. These things happen. Nothing nothing of value is lost, right? All right, I've lost count of the frogs. Luckily, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, if you lose count of the frogs, you just need to make sure you hear an ominous frog noise. Has mom tried to kill you uh, if you axe the sister? Nope, mom only kills you if she dies. Is 
that frog. I'm part of that fire when I get the chance. Yeah, I have my chance. Alright, we're at five, by the way. There's the seamstress, that's fine. So we're gonna avoid the seamstress. You're gonna play us very safe. I kinda want her to go away. She goes away around at 7 p.m. That was a con, right? Have a great day today. No frog. Yes, frog. No frog. Yes, frog. No frog. Alright, I'm missing maybe one frog or so. <laughs> oh, that's so unfair. I love it. No true to Charles tonight. We'll be doing it after we finish this. After we finish, we'll be doing it. Don't you worry. We're going longer today. We're going longer. I assure you. That's why it's just three. I wanted one good run that didn't take me two hours. I got unlucky. Oh, God. All right, we have the first frog. Not a good spot, but we'll take it. There we go. Let's go. Can you not slash chair and sister room? Oh, uh, that's not the problem. Uh, also, no, I don't have the axe, so not quite. To get the axe, you have to, uh, you know, be further in. Also, the snail is not spawned yet. When does the snail spawn? I have no idea when he actually spawns. When he decimated, by the way, chat, I don't actually know. I lost count. Died a bit more than I wanted to. Alright, good. That was close. That was way closer than I had to be. It is. If the sister dies, that's fine. She's not a huge problem. The seamstress always spawns. Uh, it's kind of one of the issues I mentioned of this game happening in the late game, where the, a lot of the enemies just kind of get better. Alright, let's start getting the snail around. Uh, we can save the sister if you want. It's not needed, though. Alright, the frog. Alright, one. Never heard of Dropsy. Two. And maybe. Nothing. <laughs> Alright, don't need the gun just yet. Actually, I do need the gun. I'm not gonna be able to save her anyway. These things happen, don't worry. She'll live forever, right? But now I need to be careful not to actually, you know, ha have to come back to this room, hopefully. I'll keep that in mind. We'll see. Also, don't need the bowling ball anymore. No. Frog and piano room? Maybe. Not quite, no. Oh, this is just gonna die, chat. That's okay. Uh, five. I am in deep shit. Seems just is the problem. When you get the snail, everything is doable. And to have her until then, it's much harder. Good timing on that. Oh, last time I got really unlucky with the shadow spawn. I had everything else. It's the shadow spawn that really bodied me. Okay, put out the water. By the way, if you're wondering why you don't put out the fire, uh, extra room to go to, and also fire cat. Uh, if the cat's on fire, it's really bad news. Also, this room now, you have a new enemy. You gotta be very careful. Make sure you pull stamina when traversing, or at least most stamina. He will gun for you very fast. Also, do not step on the carpet and do avoid the shadows. This game gets really mean, doesn't it? That it does. The thing here. Yes, there you are. Really? Nothing in here. That's fine. Good. Where did the seamstress? She just spawned in already. Alright, I need my frog music. I really need my frog music. Okay, once you get all eight frogs. No, not yet. Also, hold on. I haven't done this yet. No. Don't make sure you're gathering the ammo. God, dude. The shadow demons. Every time. The shadow man. 
It's funny because these guys never give me this many issues. But now I'm, I'm shy. Hammer shy. I have wondered if it's kind of worth it just to eat like a bunch of deaths to get the... To get the thing. Hold on, I want to test out a speedrunning strat. Doesn't work early. Hey, there's a frog right there. Cool. Alright. Are these shadow dudes in the room with us right now? You know, they might be. It might just be, actually. Spam deaths? What's I'm thinking? But the past way to carry ourselves with the bear trap. But any of that, I don't even know when he spawns is the problem. Good. Back to business. Back to business. Dude. Okay. Please be in one of these rooms. Nope. Nope. Hey, there you are. I am so bad at timing. Okay, there's two. Up oh, three. Okay. This is better RNG. I mean, it's ten, 10 deaths to get the snail. That sounds right. Okay, so he's not in any of these rooms. Also, as you can tell, you want to avoid having to come back to these rooms later if you can avoid it. Alright, right now I'm on like three or four. I lost count. I didn't bucket the kitchen. We should be fine, I think. Maybe. We'll be fine, I think. I, I really hope we'll be fine. Alright, no snail, but I will use that. No. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, gotta get both my ammos. No, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. If we hear a giant glass, then I'll be concerned. Oh, God! If you're not fine, it's fine. We'll live forever, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll... Doesn't represent me, chat. Wait, what? There. Hey, dude. Fuck. Oh, this one. Oh my god, dude, spawn camping. There's mommy, not even mommy, the seamstress. What's the fastest way to eat a death is my question. There's the bear trap. But is it really worth it to eat that many bear traps for a faster frog? Maybe. Maybe. The death's on the rat to get the snail? You might be right. Okay, so nothing's in here. Damn, she's fast, right? I can't believe it. Probably the rat? Chat, you're not gonna like the answer, by the way, to what the fastest way of getting a kill is. It, actually, I guess it is this. Hold on, let's try this out. I don't think it's the rat. I think it might be this. I think it might just be this, but I don't know if it's worth it. We're gonna try it out anyway. We'll save an hour. We're still saving an hour. Uh, so, as you can tell, this ending is kind of ridiculous. You know, letting a sister hang herself? No. I'm not letting these things happen. I'm trying to run the game as fast as I can. The rat has a key. That's the problem. The rat might not be across the room diagonally, but the rat has a key. So you can't get to the rat till you get to the cat. Unless you want to watch me kill a cat ten times. Yep. Oh, that's a frog. Wait. No, I don't think he spawns, Chad. I don't think he really spawns well. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it's better. I think it's worth it to not have to do it. 
Yes, I'm glad you noticed that, Flo. Everything is faster. When you play on uh, uh, the frog ending, everything in the difficulty has been amped up by a lot. In early game, it's really easy. Late game, it's kind of a pain. Okay, good, 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 good. Am I winning? A little bit. Oh, that's the one when the hell the snail spawns in. That's my question. One, two, three. Actually, let's not do that yet. Let's try to kill in these rooms. I'm not caring about the sister anymore. Not really worth it to me, chat. Kill the rat. These things happen. The sister will die. It's okay. Slender the eight frogs? Honestly, yeah. Not even lying to you. Alright, where is this one now? Is he in the kitchen? Or the piano room? Yeah, room, okay. Good luck out there, sis. Jesus Christ. By the way, I'm not sure if we're the hero this time. We're literally dropping bowling balls on frogs. Kind of makes us a bit of a monster, doesn't it? Let's see. That was a five. Okay. Okay, we actually did this time. So, all we have to do is survive now. Which, the ideal room for this is the rat room. My friend, the rat room. We need waiting till 7 p.m. to do anything, chat. We've done it. They had it coming? I agree with you. Okay, so, get rid of the bowling ball. Get rid of the hat. We're gonna be getting in the trap later. I like how I don't have the doll this time. That's kind of strange. I'm cool with that. Alright, 8 p.m. she should be gone. Alright, good. So, Twitch chat, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Why is it gonna be a pain in the ass? Because, uh, the frog only takes damage from melee. As well, my stamina is pretty bad. So, uh, I'm going to be very careful. When you have the snail, you can do quite a lot of damage. I do not have the snail, however. Also, the shadows, I'm not even going to give it a chance anymore. That was a hat? I'm pretty sure it's a hat. It could be a pot. Anyway, you may have noticed. Bear trap gun gun, right? Six hits? Six hits to win. Six hits. What does that mean? Uh, this time, it's a little bit different. Um, you can only do damage with melee. And this is much easier when you have the snail. Oh, it's worth going for without the snail. If you can get it, it saves more time. However, with the snail, it's going to be much, much better. It's going to be tough. Ready? By the way, chat, uh, an ad might play in about 40 seconds or so. So, uh, we'll see. We're going to hit three. We're going to run. Let's shoot. Help me, cat. Play it's nice and safe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I got greedy. It's fine. Oh, that's my bad. Good time on the ad, huh? Good time on the ad. Okay, the ad's gonna play over that. But yes, you wanna get six hits. Uh, if you have the snail, you can actually just one, two, three, four, one, two, one. You can get him very quickly at the snail, but I don't have the snail. Wait, did I consider a win? Wait, why is the frog in that room? Wait, what? No, it's not, okay. I'm resetting it just in case, though. I got the last hit in? I didn't give me the, I didn't give me the journal entry, though, so I don't count it. I don't count it, I didn't give me the journal entry. 
But apparently it gave me the frog figurine, which is kind of funny. Actually, I'm wondering if it counts resets. Dude, now there's so much I have to wonder about. See, now you got me curious. Does it count resets as deaths? There's the ad. By the way, I don't have it yet, so. Rain. Have you choo choo Charlotte yet? No, we're doing that after this. Which, my god. Again, we're going longer today, chat. Don't even worry. We're going longer today. Alright, there's the rat. I literally just want to get a run that's like under an hour. Or about an hour, roughly. It's a simple request. The Frog King is just so difficult, man. One, two, three. All right, where are you, Mr. Frog? Death. I got bowling ball destroys a toilet, by the way. In fact, I think that happens most of the time. Anyway, in theory, I got the ending, but it wasn't marked down in the journal, so it doesn't actually count. But in theory, the reward for getting the ending is the frog, but I don't think it counts. Anyway, welcome back to the ad Twitch chat. That was an ally card. Yeah, it's been nice today. It's been a fun stream day. Hey, I can actually save the sister this time. No way. Give me a hero. Kind of. Wait, so how many deaths did I really eat against the uh, frogs? I guess I was dying for an hour, so that's fair. Anyway, death. Double kill. Got the fire. Good. All right, how many frogs are left? I don't know. It's a really neat game. There might be one in there, but be careful. Really? There you are. What are you doing in here, lad? Okay, we're not on the frog so far, that's fun. Oh. Oh my god, that's fun. You know, I wonder if the I wonder if the trap would have worked. Oh, it's fine. Maybe someday we'll get the snail. Maybe someday. Wonder if you would have won if you waited. Oh, it doesn't let you wait. I think it just kills you immediately. I can't believe I killed the frog, but it didn't count because the game hates me. There he is. Okay, Mr. Frog is there. Can I get the snail, though? So cozy? It is. That's what I'm learning. I can't believe I have to route this game to find out how many deaths it takes to get the snail in this game. So we're going to kill ourselves like 80 times. There he is, you dick. All right. Now, how many deaths did I eat? There he is, okay. Marty the snail is what you need. Yes, Marty, help me, thanks. So, why is the snail important? He doubles your speed. 10 times? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess 10 unlocks is the idea. He increases your stamina massively and you just physically run faster. 10 deaths for the snail. That makes sense, then. Wait, it wasn't this room? Oh, it was the bathroom, that's right. You can see how much easier this is this time. It's gonna be much, much easier now. Wait, hold on. Like, immensely so. Of all the time in the world to hunt down these frogs. As well, now you can actually outrun the seamstress. Ah, oh, that was an affirmed derp, hope you're doing good. Alright, good. Uh, is that two frogs dead? Two frogs dead, I think. Three frogs dead. Get the snail. That's my that's my tip. 
Yeah, so I guess the best way of doing this would literally be, uh... Get the snail as soon as you can. I'm not sure any time loss would be worth it. Also, sometimes the doll just goes in your inventory, I'm not sure why. It's strange. Hey, there he is, okay. I'm glad the mom discovered the snail for me, chat. Oh, the frog. Oh, you're good, I was invisible. Ow. Well, that happened. There you go, Mr. Cat. It's only the bullets. Morning, Metazox. I'm doing good. What time is it in game? Six. I'll be avoiding her. Let's make sure nothing's in here. Nothing in here. Good, 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 good. All right, this time we'll be golden. No worries. That's a dog. Dude, I almost thought that was a frog. Oh, you're in a terrible spot. Alrighty, now it is showtime. All I have to do is outlast. We have another attempt coming on on killing the frog man. Never worried. YouTube commentators, I'm sorry for taking so long. I suck. All right, once again, we're gonna drop all our stuff. Oh, this time's kind of weird, because I have to go two. He's gonna step into it. Oh, run. And then we're gonna ask him a lot of questions. This game looks cool. This game is really cool. I actually really like it, so I wanted to route it. I do wish I had a better run, though. I wish I didn't die so many times with the frog, but I guess next time we know, just spam death to get the snail. Like, I don't think it would take that long. How long does it take to get to the cat each time? And there you wouldn't even need the cat, you just get the bowling ball, like, immediately. Do there's no way to die, like, immediately, though? As far as I'm aware. And the earliest you can die is the bear trap, or the... I think the bear trap, in fact. Anyway, showtime, let's go. Ready? Okay, it's the same deal, except this time, the snail also gives you more stamina. So, Mr. Frog King is going to spawn, and I'm just going to slice him to death. That is three. Do the same strat. I'm playing nice and safe. No need to risk it. Alright, and he's dead. There we go, and that's how you win. You have a lot more to do this time when you do that. And this time it actually works. Fast, fast, so it's stuff first. Yeah, try and the more difficult. Probably it's fast first try. There isn't any option to reset the day, but I don't know if it counts as death. I'll test it out afterward, because I'm curious. And then we'll do Choo Choo Charles. I'm not going to actually eat the death. I'm not going to actually do the run at that point, because I already said 40 minutes, but like, you know the point. Alrighty, yeah, here's a fun one. You actually have to unlock the DLC. And it's DLC, but it's weird DLC. The animation started, I got it, but I don't count it because we didn't get the actual ending. Like, it didn't give me the, the cutscene, you know? It actually, you know, it's not the problem as the cutscene I didn't get. Uh, I didn't get the journal entry. Because every time you beat the game and you get an ending, it tells you journal entry. So since I didn't get the journal entry, I'm not counting it. You know? Alrighty, so we're gonna unlock the DLC now. See, new journal entry at the top left. That means I got it. I'm just gonna take the doll. Um... Because, you know, right now we won't be have access to the ending. We need to make sure we get access. So the best way of doing so is by going to this lady and just handing her the doll. And then she'll bite you. It kind of tells you how to go control, and then what that does is lets you make, have Melody as a playable character. It wasn't all double kill, but I, I counted on journal entry. I think if you get the journal entry, it's fine. Although I had the frog, which is stupid. Anyway, now we are in phase two. This is chapter two. It's actually much faster than the Frog King, funny enough. I like how the Frog King took me 30 minutes. This next one won't take me too long. We're gonna need two playthroughs, funny enough. You can't do it in one playthrough. It is impossible. So we're gonna be moving very fast, uh, cause we have a lot we have to do in a small amount of time. Uh, we'll see if we can do it in one playthrough. I don't think we can. First things first, top left, bottom right, uh, bottom left, top right. Top left. 
Uh, just remove all the holes in the ground. You need that. Next, you're going to be grabbing this cup. We don't need that yet. We're going to need it later. Uh, next part is going to be we need the flute. So, what's going to happen? Actually, I'll probably just get the flute later now I think about it. We don't need the flute. We're going to play playing this a little bit weirdly. Uh, we're going to be playing hide and seek. You want to make sure you do this to get the scissors, because it'd be nice to have. You will need them for one of the songs. Which we'll see if we'll be able to get. I don't know if we totally will be able to. Uh, we have to unlock two songs. Uh, one to get the grandmother, and then one in general. Uh, the thing is, the songs aren't unlocked by default. So you have to make sure you actually unlock them. And you're also going to have to wait to get the wine bottle out, which the mom is not given yet. What happened to the house? It's spooky. Pannon. Anyway, there's the rat. We're going to ignore him for now. How about you? There we go. I'm going to talk to her. She's going to give me scissors. Do not run with these. I know that's funny. Don't run with scissors. Do not actually run with scissors. I'm not kidding. They'll die. The game will immediately kill you. So, this room has a spooky dude. He'll try to kill you. Uh, we're actually kind of just waiting a little bit. Uh, the reason why is because I need the mom to have her bottle of wine. She's going to keep making sandwiches. But I will grab the flute and I'll show you how to do the dodge. Uh, you want to run a little bit, uh, get the flutes, and then you're going to wait in the corner, and then start going up, and then start dashing the moment he comes next to you. You want to make sure you can get the, the dodge. So, what's supposed to happen is, in theory, you can get uh, sewage, and you make the rat drink the sewage. However, that's not going to be the case just yet, because while I do have the ability to do that, that's not going to be very helpful, because this door is locked. There we go. Okay, so now it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. means I can play the piano song. All right, I've now learned the song. Uh, I'll be doing that in the next chapter immediately, which right now we're going to be going here. We're going to be learning another song. She's going to be drinking the bottle of wine, right? I do want to be very careful not to be in the rooms for too long because the ghosts can spawn. I want to test this out, see if I can get this. If not, I wasted time. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Hold on. I know what to do. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I I messed that up. Uh, well, uh, saving the cat takes an additional run. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. So, funny enough, chat. Saving the cat takes three runs. Saving the cat takes an additional run. What happened, mom kicked you? Yes. That is that is so awful. I hate it here. Actually, I guess it takes two runs. No, no, it takes three. It definitely takes three. Does it? Maybe. Only one way to find out. Hold on. I'm gonna do this right. Hold on. A little bit of experimenting on our side. It's not bad. It's natural. So, why am I saying? Why am I complaining? So, the only way to get the cat saved is one, you need the flute. Two, you actually need to get wine. How do you get wine? Great question. You need wine with toilet water. I'm not kidding. This part of the game requires you to feed the rat. Because you need to get a key for this door. Yeah, you're playing as a sister now. So you just go in here, you scoop this up. Then also the seamstress is here. She's gonna play hide and seek. The problem is, if you don't do the whole puzzle, she'll die. And you need her alive for the scissors. There's a lot you that needs to go right in this one. It's a lot meaner than tabby sections. Like anything that goes wrong goes really wrong. Anyway, we're gonna give it to this guy. Unless I get to keep the cup, which I don't think I do. Nope, I don't get to keep the cup. See? I don't get to keep the cup, chat. And now we get scissors. And this giant key. We want the giant key. Why not the giant key? The giant key is going to allow me to open the store. I need to open this in order to get a song. And then I need to poke Kim in order to get another song. Now, two songs. One. Uh. I wrote it down in my splits. It's a long song. Uh, she's gonna give me the candle of this. That's actually why I waited. There we go. 
The candle will let you see ghosts. You're going to need that. Now it's RNG based on the spawn. You need to find Toby's body. Let's see. Also, uh, we're gonna play this. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Never mind, that's bad. Toby doesn't like us anymore. It's fine. So I can't get the best ending now. It might actually be worth it for me to die. I'm not gonna lie to you. It might be worth eating a death here, chat. I had to probably do eat a death. Yep, that's fine. This game actually scary? Yes. All right. My game crashed. I what? <laughs> what? Oh god, it's all going wrong at the finish line. Remember when it was going so good earlier? Dude, if you just go to the end, I'm really good at that part, right? We're all good. We're all good. It's a gameplay mechanic, yeah. Alright, I got everything I need. We'll be fine now. I got all the songs. I can't believe I'm killing so much of this run to save a cat. I'm playing Twitch chat. This is a second cup I don't know about. Oh, there is. That isn't up. Well, there you go. I mean, I don't. I didn't ask you. That's the problem. I mean, good to know you're doing well, but like, I, I didn't. I didn't ask directly. All right, good. Let's see. All right, so you don't get wine early. Yeah, you don't get another cup either. Dude, how are you meant to get the... Oh my god. The... You literally just have to wait it out. Oh, here we go. Okay, there he is. Oh, that's terrible. Hold on. Okay, that's awesome. I can't believe I'm doing so much to save the cat. Okay. Can't mind, if you're doing this normally, you wouldn't have to do half of this. Why? The cat's very specific. Kind of annoying, but very specific. Wait, there you go. In order to save the cat, you need to get the wine from the ground and feed it to the rat. To which then, you'll be able to do everything. The problem is, you don't get the wine until about 3 a.m. Which, everyone's gonna be dead at 3 a.m bad. Oh my god. Yeah, it's going bad now. Jesus Christ. You know what? I should call this catless. I don't want to save the cat. Maybe I won't. I did not a hamster. Remember when this was a YouTube explain video? Oh boy, I remember when that happened. Which part, Jason? Save cat. Fine, I'll save the cat. Someday I'll revisit this run and beat it by like literal like 20 minutes by YouTube. This is not going on YouTube. I'm not doing another run of this. <laughs> At least not today. Maybe I'll pass up on the wheel of games. Who knows? I'm saving the cat. You know what the weird part is, by the way? So the spirit.com page made the not cat category the main percent. There's like one runner who does it. Like, every other runner does the cat. Wait, has he got me? No, he doesn't have me. Okay, good. Save the cat, save the world. Okay, we literally have to wait uh, an in-game hour to save the cat. This would be terrible. Oh, ghosts don't kill me. I'm saving the cat. Hey, if you appreciate me saving the cat, you should subscribe to the channel. You get emotes and scissors and after viewing. I'm going long in the eight hours and plugging myself now. <laughs> oh, God. All right, there he is. Uh, 2 a.m. I have to make sure I still don't die to any ghosts. Oh, follow? I said subscribe. I get the scissors. All right, 20 more, 40 more in-game minutes. So you have to do three runs of this to save the cat. Saving the cat costs you... 
I think all the time. As I'm pretty sure you can save everyone else without the cat. The cat's the only one that requires three playthroughs. All the other ones you can do in two. Alright, ready? Drop the wine bottle. Okay. There we go, Mr. K Mr. Rat. What a treat. I haven't had such fun in some time. Tell you some sandwiches, so many sandwiches. Give me that journal of yours. Let's scroll something. There we go. And now I can die to the ghost or something. Okay, we've done it. Hooray! And now I can beat the actual game because unlocking all of the songs took me longer than needed. Cat just wanted both the bird in a bottle. It's powerful. We're doing the cat. We're getting the cat now. Okay, Chet. Now we're gonna be running fast. Ready? Okay. We gotta move. We have a lot of gotta do in a short amount of time. So, what did we do and why did we do it? We've unlocked all the songs in the game. That is the important part. First things first. I'm gonna have all the holes in the ground. We need this for later so we don't trip. If she trips with the scissors, we cannot beat this. Next, I'll be grabbing the flute. This is the same thing. Blue is really important. Now, the important thing about this category is that all the songs you have gained uh, carry over. So, all of them, all of them. Now, you're not going to play the first song immediately. You need to wait for the monitor of the wine bottle, or else you're not going to be saved. Now, since I have done all of this, I have the flute and all that, uh, we are going to be doing the next part. Which is, I don't know if we can summon Grandma yet, but we'll try. Alright, she's gonna start a hiding. We need to find the grandmother. I don't think we need to find her, find her. We'll see. Actually, let me do this. Uh... Wait, poem. There we go. Cool, grandma's in a dark room. There she is, the candle! The candle is what we want, as well as the toilet water. Okay, we have to be very fast, by the way. Fucking up anything in the section is bad. I also need to make sure I find Toby. We do not have a lot of time this time. Okay, the rat needs to get you the key. And if you don't feed him toilet water, he doesn't get the key. It's dumb. You can't give him the wine. We get the scissors this way, and then we get the key. Now this way, we're gonna be playing Toby's song. Uh, Toby's song is the most important one. Uh, the reason why is because if we don't play it, uh, the dad will die. So, it's, it's what's on the splits, that's good. Alright, Toby's song isn't played, we need to run away from Toby now. The snail spawn for the sister? No, I don't think she can actually. There we go. So Toby's ghost will be in this room. You need Toby's ghost to possess the body. Also, now I need to immediately bolt back to the kitchen with the scissors as well. Because it's gonna be a noose, I need to cut the noose. Make sure the dad is now saved. The dad is now saved. I then need to play the flute on a, just a strong right note. Good. And now we're playing... We're playing the friendship song. The friendship song will allow me to recruit this rat. Now, the rat might be my friend. The cat will kill the piano. There, I've now saved the cat. And the cat has killed the piano. So now we can live forever, right? Okay, last but not least, uh, James will be slinking into the living room because I didn't kill James. This requires a lot to get done. If you do all of it, you are now good to go. So James is in the living room. We've saved everyone. We only need to make it to the end now. We have the boss. That's an excellent run's been going decently well, actually. We just need to wait now. So, the amount you have to do to unlock the songs and not die is kind of disgusting. Fine, but disgusting. As well, I have to make sure the ghost doesn't kill me. But look, I've saved the cat. You're welcome. The cat has been saved. I had to do an additional whole ass playthrough to save the cat. 
Now, remember where Toby is, because we're going to be leading the boss into the three people we saved. That's why all three of them had to be saved. Uh, if you don't cut the noose, the dad will die. If you don't break the wine, the mom will die. And if you don't uh, possess the body, Toby can't help you. That is an ordinary animal. Learning isn't going well. Oh god, I tripped. By the way, if you trip like that, that's how you die by the scissors. Cat is secured? I've screwed the cat. Anyway, it is almost time. I think it spawns at 5, 30, or 6. I don't remember which one. 6. Okay. Mom's just kind of sad, but she's there. But yes. Playing Smash Bros? Yes. Alright, should be time for the boss. Almost. There he is. Okay, so James attacks boss number one. That works out well. He gets his face stomped in. Mom will attack phase number two with a knife. Hide behind each of them. And then last but not least, we need Toby. Toby is right here. Toby's kind of far away. Oh, there he is. Okay, good job, Toby. Once you get Toby, you're going to stab him with scissors. Well, the guy, not Toby, but this man. And then he dies. And then you jump in. The run ends on the bottom right. You've been in the whole game. Now, I could have saved so much time if I didn't go for the rat, for the cat. Just say, oh look, there he is! You happy? He's right- he's right there now. You've saved the cat. He'll live forever with us. I'm losing time for the cats, but I hope you enjoyed it. There we go. You just have to talk to the sister, and once you do that, you're almost done. You have to mash through the credits, but once you do that, time, because I made up this category and it's consistent. Hooray! Oh, that's the last action. It really should be counted right here. This isn't even a category on speedrun.com. I can't even submit it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, if you like me saving the cat, remember to like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, follow and subscribe. You get emotes and scissors. Oh, so I'm going long eight hours and learning a whole ass other game. Jesus Christ. I'm anyway, going to mash, and then once you mash, you're good to go. Yay, we've done it. I've saved 39 minutes. I mean, better, but holy shit, man. The frog bodied me repeatedly. And we'll see the cat in our ending. Cat ending? We get the cat ending, yes. We get cat ending. Well done. Thank you. I'm so cozy. And you see, it's all worth it for the cats. You know what else is worth it? Check this out. When sub one hour? When I don't save the cat. <laughs> or when I get better at the frog parks. The frog section is so rough. We need some boogies in here. Oh, are we subscribing? That works for an animal. You need a frog parker, dude. That's not a frog. See, Manicore gets it. That's a frog. 